Hi, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is your favorite tech savvy, okay, Mute for the NS. So, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to get started with website development in this 2024. So, if you're someone who owns a laptop and you have access to the internet and you don't know what to do with it, trust me, this tutorial is going to change your life forever. So, I'm sharing this with you because website development has actually helped me in so many ways. It was one of the skills that actually provided for me financially in 2023 and I believe that anybody who learned this skill will be able to generate another stream of income for themselves. So who are those who are supposed to learn this particular skill? So this skill is for anyone who's looking forward to um, increasing their streams of income. This skill is for 9 to 5 workers. This skill is for stay at home mom and dad. This skill is for students. This skill is for anybody anybody it's not um gender based i'll say um uh, it's for male or it's for female no it's for everybody no matter your gender so what i'm going to be showing you today is going to help you to move from point a to point b so let's get started so if you're new on this channel please don't forget to subscribe like this video so that youtube will get some more persons like this video so that youtube will get to show it to more persons and also click on the description bell so that you will be alerted whenever I drop a video on this channel. And to all my returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you so much for returning back to this channel. So let's get started. Let's dive in. So I'm going to be sharing my screen with you while you're seeing me like this. So I have my PC here with me. All right. So I'm going to um, show you guys a platform that I use for and that I use personally and recommend for all my mentees at the Website Development Academy where I teach people how to build different types of websites. So this platform is called Pantheon.io Pantheon.io I'm going to leave a link to read in the description of this video and also the comment section of the video so you can just go there and create your account after watching this particular video. So this platform is called Pantheon.io It enables you to get started with website development for free without a hosting plan and a domain because if you want to build a website like you want to build a, a personal brand website that is meant for a, a brand not um, for free purposes it's for a brand or yourself personal self a site that you know that is going to be live um, you're going to be needing um, hosting plan and domain name okay so this particular site is for practice purpose so if you're someone who is just getting started and you do not have um, resources to get a domain and a hosting plan you can use this platform to start learning so when you start um, getting good jobs that um, are going to pay you you can then create a platform for your own self okay for example okaymutifole.com and you just as you can see you're at the back of my dress this is my website okaymutifole.com.ng but this particular platform is going to give you free um hosting and free domain so you're going to be hearing something like um um techsavvy.pantheon.io something like that you understand okay so let's get started so right now i'm going to Start recording my screen so when you come to pantry.io the first thing you need to do is to create an account okay you're going to create a free account using your email and your password okay using the email and password you provide your email and password for them to set up your account it is free all right so once you set up your account the next thing you want to do is to start creating your website so this website I'm going to be teaching you is without coding. You don't need to code. You don't need to have a knowledge of how coding works. So when you come to your Pantheon.io um, dashboard, let's assume you've already created your, your free account. The next thing you want to do is to come over here to where you have site or under the home tab. As you can see me showing you on my screen, you're going to go over and say create a new site. So if you're using this Pantheon free um, plan, you're, you're only entitled to just two sites. You can only create two sites on this platforms so meaning if you after you're done exhausting your two um platforms your two sites that you want to create and you want to create more you just need to keep creating accounts over and over for you to make do it so after that now here on my screen you can see that it's showing me i should select wordpress right so this is what we're going to be using you do not need to know how to code we're going to be using wordpress all through so i'm going to select wordpress and you allow it to load so when you get here, you're going to be using a name. You're going to put a name that you would love to use for this particular site. So let's say for the purpose of this training, I'm going to say tutorials. All right, tutorials. And then I'm going to say um, my region for the site is United States. You can use any of them that are here though. All right, I'm going to say it's United States. And then I'm going to say continue. You click on the continue and 
you wait for it to load so if this particular name that you use is not available they will tell you that it's not available okay so you can see now it's taking us forward it's taking us forward it's deploying our cms and all of that so please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't like this video so that youtube gets you to more person and also click on the notification bell so you'll be at alert whenever i drop a video on this channel most especially if you know you've been getting value from this channel and you've not subscribed oh my god and you are not even sharing this video to your neighbors you don't want your friend to learn how to build website you are just enjoying yourself hmm. this is 2024 don't be stingy all right so let's see it's still deploying our cms and once it is done it's going to show you a green sign okay so just give you some time to do that so right now our wordpress has finished deploying so the next thing we're going to be doing is to head over to say visit your pantheon site dashboard so you click on that and it's going to take you to the next step so let's see what we are going to be getting from here all right so this is what you're going to get to so when you get to this particular stage the next thing you want to do is to click on site admin so click on site admin and it's going to open a new tab entirely for you and this is where the process begins entirely all right so remember you have to create a free account on pantry.io and then you have to click on create a site then select the platform you're going to be using which is wordpress after which you just follow the process till this particular stage so the next thing you want to do is to select english language you are going to scroll down and then say continue then i'm going to put in my site title what's the title of my site what's the name of my site so i'm going to say um you can change it anytime okay so it's not like um it's something that is permanent so i'm going to say tutorial with k and then the username of the person who is going to be handling this account or this website is going to be I'm going to say T with K or TK and then I'm going to put a password that I know I can remember so make sure that your password is something that you can remember all right so I'm going to say password should be um, Okay, so I've put in a password here and I'm going to copy that so that I can remember it. Then I'm going to put my email address. So this is going to be, let me just use any of my email address. And you're going to leave the other one. Don't click on that option that says discourage search engine. No, you're going to leave it the way it is. So the next thing I want to say is to, is to install my WordPress. So I'm going to install WordPress. It doesn't take time okay just few seconds and it's done so you can see now it's done all right so i'm going to save my password so that when i want to log into my dashboard i will not need to be coming back to um, look for password and all that so it's just easy so i save it to my my google password and i'm going to say login so what we have done so far is creating our wordpress work area We've already created the website as it is right now which is tutorials.pantiosite.io so i'm going to log into my dashboard and see what it is now what is a dashboard a dashboard is where everything that you want to see on your website it is from this dashboard that you can do all these things okay if you want to add a video to your website you want to add a content you want to create a post you want to sell anything at all you want to be visible when your visitors visit your website it is from this dashboard okay so you have to understand the difference between the dashboard and the main website the main website is what your besides visitors are going to be seeing when they visit the site why the dashboard is where all the contents that you are going to be making available to those visitors it is from this dashboard you will be able to do all those things from here you're going to carry out those um activities all right so we've been able to log into our dashboard and from here we can see how the dashboard looks like so this is the current version which is a um, 6.4.2 wordpress version all right so we've done that so how do you view the main website to view the main website there are two ways so just come here you can see where my mouse is you can just go there and click on visit site hold your control key on your key keyboard and click on visit site and then it's going to take you to the main site so you can see here dev 
hyphen tutorials.panchosize.io this is so because you are not paying for it it is a free platform all right so that's why you are indirectly promoting their business okay so i go back to my dashboard so for your dashboard anytime you want to log into your dashboard it is just type the site url and then put a hyphen slash that's a slash sorry not hyphen put um a slash um wp hyphen admin just as you can see on your screen right now that's how your dashboard should be that's the login to your dashboard which you can change in subsequent times using i'm going to be talking about that in other videos no no i don't want to crack your brain so i just need to get this particular one i'm showing you very well so this is our dashboard so anything you want to see on your website here it is from this dashboard that you can do all of that so you can see all this content here if you don't want to see all of them you won't take them out you can do that from your dashboard area so let's get down to business so so far i've been able to show you how to create a free account on pantheon.io and also how to log into your dashboard so let's see what we can do from here so um a website is made up of a post a page and it's your website structure is determined by the team that you install now team determine how your site is going to look like they are like the building plan of a house for example you want to build a bungalow you won't be going to get a um, a business um a house plan for a duplex no you won't be going to get a house plan for a church no each house or each project you want you have their own structures okay so that's what a team is all about a team determine how your website is going to look if you're going to be building a blog there are teams for blogs if you want to build a church website there are teams for church although there are teams that generally serve for any kind of purpose of website you want to build all right but there are teams specifically for this different types of website that you want to build if it is a blog there's a team for it if it is a church there's a team for it and so on and so forth now what is a plugin a plugin is what determines the features that are going to be on the site meaning if you want to add more features to your website you want to add more um um accessibility more activities to your site you need a plugin to do all of that for example if you want your customers to be able to chat with you on whatsapp um by just clicking on the whatsapp icon at the bottom of your website you need a plugin to do that if you want your customers to be able to chat with you live on the website you need a plugin to do that if you want to be able to um if you want something to be displaying on your site that is showing 100 percent 10 percent when your site is about to load there's a plugin that does that as well so any feature you want on your website it is being carried out by a particular plugin so there are plugins for different purposes different purposes you want to secure your website you want to change your um url your login url there are plugins for all of that so these are some of the things that you should take into so i mentioned before now that your website is made up of posts and pages okay posts are those things that are not static they are dynamic they changes over time so for people who are going into blogging they are going to be needing um they are going to be needing a post more okay for for example like in the cages blog uh, we have a um, ninja loaded and all of that all those blogs okay cnn they make do with post the guardian vanguard newspapers and all that they make do with post and less of pages okay so if you're someone who's going to blog in you're going to be needing post more then for someone who is going to be creating a website that is meant for a church a website that is meant for a, a school a website that is meant for um a, a business brand like a bank uba all these banks like that you're going to be making do more with pages okay so it's good you have an idea pages are going to be there for a lifetime meaning when you go to your school website there are some pages that have been there for like the past five years like the admission page student page um registration page staff page and all that they have been there for a long time but when you go to blogs like um Linda cages blog you will not see a post that she made two days ago at the top of the site no it has gone down okay it's because more posts are they keep coming keep adding posts over and over so that is how it works okay so right here i'm going to click on all posts so we'll see all the posts that we have here so i'm just going to say select all and i'm going to um, trash it i do not need any of these ones okay so what i'm going to be doing from here is to show you some vital things that you should do once you have installed your wordpress and got into this stage so i'm going to delete all these um posts that are here that i do not want i'm going to delete them one after the other so i've deleted so i'm going to head over to pages and i'm going to see all the pages that are also here and i'm going to delete them as well so we have privacy and sample page 
and I'm going to delete them, move them to trash. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is to go to my comments. Let's see if we have any comments here that needs to be deleted. Okay, there is no comments here. And then the next thing is to go to plugins. Let's see some of the installed plugins that are here and you need to activate them. So remember I told you any feature you want on your website, there is a plugin that enables you to get that done. Alright, so right now I'm going to activate some of the plugins that are available here. So it is very important for you to update your plugins so that... Um, it's very important to update your plugins to avoid malware from creeping into your plugin, your website. Okay, when you are vulnerable, it's just like opening your door, refusing to close your door at night because you feel you feel that is the best way to go about it. You no, know, always keep yourself protected. So by updating your plugins, it is very very important to do that. So I've already updated my plugins and we are good to go. If there's anyone you don't want, I can just say, okay, I do not need them and I'm going to delete them by just trashing them so that is how it works so i'm going to head over to appearance and i told you that your website structure is determined by a team right so let's go to teams on that appearance you see teams so because we are using a free platform like quantity.io they automatically install numerous teams for you so over 13 over 10 um, teams have been installed here so you have to delete them because it's not good to crowd your website with too many teams that you do not need all right okay so as you can see on my screen now you can see that there are a lot of teams here so all you need to do is to update and delete the ones that you do not need leave at least two teams on your website okay it shouldn't be more than two or three okay any other thing outside two or three is a waste of time okay you do not need it on your website okay so that's where we're going to call it a quit for this particular session on how to start building website in 2024 so if you want me to keep giving you guys updates on how to go ahead from here then leave a comment in the comment section saying go ahead and then i need to tell you also that i have an academy that mentors people on how to build websites so if you're someone who is interested in building websites from the scratch you want to join my mentorship program you can visit my website at www.okemutefolia.com.ng to sign up or send me a whatsapp message at plus two three four eight one three six nine six seven eight two one i'll be glad to welcome you to the academy till i see you again bye for now Bye.